Hey Cashier Derek here, Baker Six Land. Today we're gonna to be doing a really simple creative cache with a decoder built right into it. Let's get started. All right, so before I get started on building this creative cache, I want to give a really quick shout out to Sean at Arted Crafted who sent me this shirt and it really embodies a lot of what this channel is and me, myself. It says, things that I do in my spare time. Make gadget caches, research making gadget caches, look at gadget caches, dream about gadget caches, talk about gadget caches, and go gadget caching. All right, so I wanted to say thank you to Sean for sending me this shirt. It really does embody the channel and almost my philosophy of everything that I end up doing. And uh, go check him out. Uh, Artedcrafted.com, I got the link down in the description, so check it out. Thanks again, Sean, for sending me this shirt. It is really awesome, I really love it. All right, so now this creative cache, I wanted this to be a really simple birdhouse, and it's not gonna be that big, and it's gonna have a decipher or decoder um, on the side of it to be able to solve that to be able to get into the lock itself. So, with that being said, let's start making the birdhouse and then I'll show you how to make this decoder. All right, so now I've got the very simple birdhouse built and I put the door on the side because I want the decoder to go on the front to look like a perch. And you'll understand that here in a second. And there are really several different ways to be able to do the decoder itself. And I kind of got the idea from this color wheel that I use when I'm doing different color designs and stuff like that for my regular job. And it kind of spins. And there are several different ways that you could do this decoder where it could be multiple layers. So you have to line different ones of them up and to be able to get different aspects of it. Those are really cool, but I wanted something really simple. So what I'm gonna do is take a two and a half inch hole saw and cut out a circle and where I'll be able to put the dowel rod into it that I'll be able to make the decoder. Now the other part that I need to add onto this is I need to add the lock. And I'm gonna be using this cam lock on this one and that's going to go on the door itself and it's going to lock into the front and that is why i haven't put the front on yet is because i want to be able to get that decoder on the front of it and also i need to put a notch back in here so where this cam lock will actually lock into it so now let's get the decoder made up and get the cam lock on All right, so there it is, just a really simple birdhouse with the decoder here on the front, and the disc is here where the solution or where the code would be, it's up to you. And then you could put the other, the solution or the code on the, around the outside, and they would have to line it up so that it matched. And before you even ask, the solution or the key would be in the description. So this symbol would match to this letter or this symbol to this number, whichever way you want to do it. And you can decide what the type of code it is. Now I haven't put a code on here yet because I haven't really decided how I want to do this. If I want it numbers or if I want it letters to be able to figure out the code to be able to get into the cam lock right here on the side. So once they figure that out, they can dial it in, figure the solution out, put it into the cam lock, open it up, and they're into where the logbook would go. They close it back up and it's really locked in there and that's not gonna come out and that's really cool. Now, 
leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think of this build. This is really simple build, uh, really fun, creative cache to, to build and to find and with a little decoder on the front of it. So let me know, leave me a comment down below. Also, there is a link down below for the cam lock itself that's down in the description and that is an affiliate link. So if you click on it and you buy something, buy one of these locks, you know, that helps the channel just a little bit so that we can continue doing these builds. Also down in the description is the link for Arctic Crafted who provided this shirt for me. And once again, Sean, thank you for doing this shirt. It's really cool, I really love it. But hey, don't go anywhere. Go check out another one of these stories just right over here and find the story behind the cache.